All right, so next up we've got op.io. Or do you guys ever say Apio? Apio. Uh, and this is Atilia Bustoso, CD Bustoso, CDO and co-founder, and Greg uh, Borgulia. Close enough. <laughs> CTO and co-founder. So, uh, hi everyone. Uh, yeah, so my name is Attila, I'm the CEO of Op.io, and uh, this is Greg, my technical co founder. And we are working on a new protocol for actionable communication which allows teams to, and businesses to uh, be more productive by uh, focusing on action and design. Um, just quickly about my, myself, I used to work as an architect and uh, working for more than 18 months on this single building <coughs> taught me less actually about how to design a nice building. What I learned was more about how ineffective is online teamwork. And you were, we and my team were really frustrated by the hundreds of emails we received every, every day and they really blocked us from getting actual work done. And this is very, very typical. People spend too much time on email. So we came up with, a, with an idea. Let's say you are uh, in a team and you write your weekly meeting, me, meeting minutes. You describe the status of the project and then you say, uh, say list the different, different actions people should take. And these actions should be communicated directly to the team members. They see the context, but more importantly, they can reply with a single tap of a button. And of course, then it's automatically synced back to the main document, so the entire team has an overview of what's happening. If you receive more tasks, then it shows up the list, you can, uh, you can organize it. And you as a manager, uh, you have a very good overview of the entire progress. And in one place, the entire team is uh, always uh, uh, in, in place. Um, so this is, uh, you can see that how much more effective you can be if you communicate through actions with your team. The problem is, you could do that in email, right? Uh, but it's not trackable. It doesn't help you track progress or organize, get things organized. So we came up with a new protocol uh, which allows users to send actionable messages. And it, again, it allows businesses to be more productive. <coughs> and it, you can do it with a sim uh, simple syntax, who should do what. Let's see that in action. I will ask uh, Gergay uh, to, to write in op, we call it op messages. And you can use the syntax who should do what. You mention the person, uh, okay, um, and you use the action tag with the exclamation mark, and then you can uh, use hash hashtags for context. And the cool thing is that it's compatible with email. So if you once uh, you send it, it will show up in my inbox. Okay. Yeah. So I, now I received an actual request to prepare for this demo, and let's go to my inbox. And this is the, my Gmail with the new, new inbox interface. Uh, and this is one of the actions. You can extract the actions from the message button. It shows up like, like, like invitations and attachments. But this is, again, this is a dynamic document. It's not a static file. It's a dynamic document. And if you click the done, let's say it's done, then it's, of course, automatically updated. And the cool thing is that all these actions, they, they are stored in the cloud. They have a unique URL. So you can, if you click on that, you can see the action and you can uh, track back the, the history of the action. So this is, you can see that I just marked it as done, this action, because I prepared for this demo. Um, you let's click another one. Um, um, this one yeah. um, and then uh, each action has a, have a comment thread, and these are, um, these are um, uh, modular. So for instance, you can nest actions within actions. This is, a, this is an action. Um, and because they are modular, you can Im uh, build up entire workflows and projects from it. And yes, this is what we are working. Um, and um, so, based on this protocol, uh, let's go back to the slide. Yeah, uh, we are building uh, paid project management services and features for managers uh, to track progress and businesses to to have a better overview of their uh, performance. 
And we are uh, also working on uh, third-party integrations to communication tools and project management tools. What OPIO, our protocol, allows is basically bridging the two communication tools and project management, task management tools, because these are silos which need uh, uh, a bridge between them. So yes, this is OPIO. Um, if you are interested in integrating it to your product, let us know. Because it's very low level protocol, it allows integrations on the text entry level. Um, and yeah, we have a beta, it's very early, so it's quite limited, but you should go and try op.io slash app, and uh, please tell us our feedback. If you have any questions, we are happy to answer. Thank you, guys. That's a pie. I'll wait to you in a second. So, is there um, a screen or an interface or a GUI that shows um, the project tree, how all these things are? Uh, not, not yet. Okay. We don't, yeah, that's, that's the plan. So, uh, now we only focus on the personal productivity, and then we want to add these features later. Right? You can like drag and drop and combine them. And for instance, I forgot to say that uh, one action, depending on their status, can trigger other actions. So it really becomes like an interactive workflow. Uh, Op.io uh, works as a very simple protocol, and I can see one advantage to that. Uh, what do you see as one or two more advantages to Trello, for example? Um, or other agile management services that provide a very similar services. Yeah, yeah. We, we kind of uh, want to integrate with Travel. Uh, so kind of you can type from anywhere. So be it uh, IM or Slack or uh, Gmail, you can you can add Travel messages. And there are services which allow that. Also, Travel has a you can inbound uh, email, right? Uh, I also want to Greg answer some of your questions. I would say that. Uh, you wouldn't. Uh, there are some uh, situations when you still write an email, but you wouldn't uh, start using Trello, even if you're a Trello user. Uh, we are trying to make this protocol so flexible and so simple that uh, when you would just start writing an email, you would uh, just choose this one. So, how do you differentiate from? Oh, sorry. Oh yeah. Hey. How do you differentiate from services like Asana that offer a similar product that's free? Or even like Evernote shared notebooks? Yeah, like, uh, I think our core uh, USP is that uh, we will allow you to store your actions in the cloud. So we basically want to be a, a cloud provider for, uh, 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 yeah, for individual actions in the status and their change log. Uh, and this is different from Evernote yeah. where they are focusing more on, on documents and notes and memories. Well, have you seen like Asana as well? I think it has a similar sort of yeah, yeah, yeah. process. Yes. Yeah, we, we kind of we want to interoperable with as many tools as, as possible. <coughs> what what I was just saying is like all many of these tools, most of them allow uh, cooperating with uh, known users. This is also an important thing. So you can be reach to other people and other companies. And also, Greg uh, used to work at the graphic store. But the different teams use different project management tools, so they had email with me. Okay. I think the question is more along the lines of the other product is free. Why would I pay for yours? Yeah, I think uh, on, on the, we have a premium model. So for personal productivity, you will uh, it will be free, and for uh, more advanced uh, project management features, there will be face uh, uh, features. Yeah, yeah. It's, Question. Anybody else? Jessica. Uh, which kind of features you have in the payment and the premium, like premium when you pay for it? Which kind of different features you have? Um, um, we don't have any paid features yet, ready yet. At first, I think the like, meeting minutes. Uh, this kind of feature set that we imagine at the paid version, and then also like uh, notifications. So like uh, if a certain action, action stays in an in progress status for a short, uh, longer time, uh, then it gives you a notification. This kind of thing. Well, for the short term, yeah, this is the first one. Where are you guys based? We are based in Budapest, Hungary, and we are just on a visit. And our plan is to transition here. So 
We, we, we need a network, so that's why we are here. Um, also, we need to seek some help in business development. Um, and yeah, any advice would be helpful and feedback on the product, so please. Excellent. Last call. Everybody. All right, Opa. Okay, thank you very much.